What's up guys? I'm just taking a break from working on the eBay heads and figured I'd make another quick short filler video about prepping some parts. See a while back I read this article on how to prep washers so that they wouldn't um, basically be, be too slick. I mean I guess the deal is modern manufacturing is a little too good. Let me show you. Cylinder heads, modern cylinder heads, the spot facing for where the bolt washer sits. You know, by the way, if you're having aluminum heads, you should use a bolt with a washer, not just, you know, the OEM bolts. So, FYI. Studs as well, you know, obviously. Anyways, the spot facing is too smooth. So, when you go to tighten the bolt down, you want the bolt to spin on the washer, but you don't want the washer to spin on the head like a bearing. So that's, you know, that can cause over torquing and damaging your threads in your block. Now some heads they're not as smooth and you can get away with you know not doing this this modification. You know if they're used heads or just you know older or rougher machined I guess. I mean it's still it's not it doesn't take much so it's not a big deal and it's you know <laughs> it's easy. Basically what they want you to do is take your head bolt washer which I have some right over here, and run it down this 60 grit sandpaper, see right there, 60 grit, my last piece, <laughs> three times. And when you do that, you're roughing it up so that it won't spin, it'll, it'll grab a little. Now, OEMs will have like a, well, I think Chrysler, they said in the article, has like a paw print on the outside so it'll grab onto the head. And even ARP, because well, these are not ARPs, but they're very like ARP washers. Well, <laughs> we'll get to that in a minute. Anyways, ARP washers, they will have like a, I don't know, these like dimples or, you know, divots. I don't, I, I don't know. I, know, I never had them, so I don't know about it. There's a picture of them online if you want to check out their website. And you can buy like the, the pattern washers so they'll, they'll, they'll grab onto the head and not spin. But anyways, let me demonstrate this here real quick. It's just as easy as this. Uno. Dos. Trace. <laughs> Finite. <laughs> We're getting fancy up in here. Multilingual. <laughs> anyway, so there it is. All roughed up. Good to go. Just about three times. And what you want to do, and there's a comparison for you real quick. What you want to do is to make sure you do the right side of the washer. You see, these aftermarket head bolt washers, well some of them, you know, like the ARP ones, and some similar ones, <laughs> get to that in a second, have this chamfer for the head bolt because the head bolt has a little bit of a radius in there. It's going to be really hard to see this on camera, but it's small and basically you, 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 that chamfer is, is to provide, you know, room for that little bit of radius, I guess. I don't know. I'm not a head bolt expert. That's just what I've read, and so on. I believe ARP even mentions that, and you know they say in the instructions, put the chamfer up. So we are sanding the bottom side. Yeah, we are roughing up the bottom side, not the tops, because we want the tops to still be smooth enough for the head bolt to glide on, but we don't want the whole washer to turn like a bearing. Now, if you screw up like I did in this one, I just grabbed when I did my practice ones, <laughs> you can polish it up nice and good again. Because it is definitely noticeable, you can feel it is rougher, and when you put the bolt on there, it'll grab more. So, you know, I just use my various grits of sandpaper and a mirror to just, you know, smooth that out again real quick. No big deal. And if you are, if you're interested in how I am, a little more detail, like I got a video about that, but it's basically I just described right there. <laughs> Anyways, back to these bolts over here. We'll get to this. Now, I plan on using a set of JEGS bolts for my eBay aluminum heads 2.0 <laughs> and you can see right here there's the JEGS logo and but right here I got also got a set of ARP and you know on my channel I like to compare things so there you go and they got a slightly different tint to the JEGS and they're threaded just a tad longer but otherwise I mean actually the I noticed also too the the radius on the heads are a little better 
So, I mean, overall, the, the ARP is the better bolt, but still the Jags are pretty, you know, pretty budget-friendly, close enough. And better than OEM. I got a bag of OEM here. I was comparing the actual lengths of the various bolts, and you can see right here, when we take the washer, it's pretty much the same as the, the OEM. Because you want to make sure you have the correct length bolts, because ARP has multiple length bolts for various, I guess, heads, thicknesses, and blocks. And I just checked my JEGS bolts on this head, which I used before, and on these new eBay heads, and they just stick out slightly more. But, you know, I'm using on an OEM block, which has through bolts, so I don't think I'd have a bolt length issue other than, you know, to make sure I don't run out of threads, which I'm not going <laughs> to. So, I've checked those out. We're good there. I'm going to finish roughing up these washers. Um, one other thing I want to mention. Oh, yeah. The reason you do this, other than damaging the threads, is you're going to have a more consistent, you know, torque on the heads. You know, so you want to have, you know, an even load. There's other things like you'll do, like, you know, chasing the threads with a thread chaser. And ARP makes a thread chaser, which I've used and I like. Some say they use a tap, but, you know, tap, you know, if it's too sharp, you can, you can actually damage the threads in the block. So you don't really want to do that. But, you know, chasing out the threads. Wrong way. I was going to use that for demonstration, but it's facing the wrong way. I said chasing out the threads, using the proper, you know, lubricant under the head of the bolt, between the, you know, the bolt and the washer. So that it spins on the washer, but you know the washer stays put. You know those are things, as well as this, that makes the loading of the bolt more consistent. You know, throughout the whole head, and you know, bolt to bolt. Now, another thing I like to do, this is not you know kind of unrelated. When I pull down, when I tear down an engine, I like to manually remove the bolts myself, so that way I can feel if they were consistent and. I can tell you that the prep definitely makes them more consistent than when you don't do these things. So, there it is. Another video, short and sweet. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Keep it real.